Hello everybody, I'm TF Gaming and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 2 Career. Now for this video too, I'm going to be voicing over. If you guys remember from last video, I had that unfortunate event where my microphone was off. And if you remember from last video, we're racing at Dover and for Jennifer Jo Cobb. Our luck literally could not get any worse, so I'll get to you guys after qualifying. See you there. Okay. And of course, like always, we're in 31st, and we're on the hood view. Let's get our mirror up. Our mirror is successfully up. And let's keep going now. Oh, let's not go. We already slid up the track to Dozot. There's Peck. There's Mules. Try not to hit anyone. The pinball effect is pretty bad in this game. Oh no, we hit Mills again. We're sliding. We're all over the place. Concentration. Very important at this track. I'm very good at this track. It's one of my favorite tracks. So, I really like to do well here. And it seems like we will. We're already making our way up. There's Greenfield. And, check. Get to the entire track. Stay completely move him out of the way. And we are sitting in 24th, the Spencer Boyd just in front of us. He is in 23rd, and if we can pass him, we will even have enough time to try and catch the cars ahead, which, can you guess who, is Corbin Forrester. So, let's see. Will we be able, will we be able to pass Boyd here? No, we're going to have to get the run in two turns one and two checking our damage we're fine checking your tires we're also fine and we get past Boyd now we have this Forester up ahead of us we might even be able to get them on turns three and four let's see we got the run we got the run on the back stretch Ooh, we're gonna unfortunately cut to the outside because of that I don't think we're gonna make it yes we get the bump to Corbin Forrester but the stage ends. Let us continue. And wow, looks like everyone else is going to pit. Will I pit too? We have 18, 17 seconds to decide. Yeah, we're going to pit. Turn up the tape. And we have 10 seconds. Wedge will go down, so we have more turning power. Which I was struggling to get that truck to turn. I can't really tell you guys now but I remember when I was filming this I was struggling quite a little bit green flag us back out and you can already see that tape is holding up well or maybe not but we're on our way five laps in the stage two let's keep moving can't get to that bottom too much the track is faster we're already making our way up. Give a pretty hard bump to Chastain. More hit him than bumped him. Keep pushing, keep pushing. We're gonna try and get him here on this turn. Ooh, nope. We're gonna give room, and we're spinning! We're loose, we're loose, and we're spinning. Yes, we're spinning. Oh, we hit, we hit! We hit Snyder, we're spinning. And caution comes out, stage two ends. Oh no! Yeah, when you hit the uh, that apron there, that's not good. So, looks like we're, since we're in thirtieth, we're just gonna pit again in advance, take newer stuff. That's not good. We can't let that happen any more than that one time because hitting that apron can be disastrous to a race. Okay, we're back in it. And the final stage, oh my goodness, look at that. 12 out of 28 laps. Wow. That, that's a lot. That's a lot. That is a lot. Oh no, we hit the apron again. We're spinning. We're spinning. But we're going to be okay. And should we stop the car and turn around? No, that'd be too dangerous because of the, the um, how sharp the track is and how the leaders might catch up to us and then it could be in a really bad situation. And because 
if you remember, we're a much faster truck. We should be able to catch up to them in no time. It shouldn't take any time at all. There's Dizza, and we're already back up with him. We'll make our first pass. Ooh, we give him a bump. No, we're not gonna make our first pass. But we probably will on the front stretch. Shoving him through turn four and two more positions. Now we go back to Mills. Pushing Mills through two, one and two. And we're gonna pass him in three and four here. Oh, that slider just dodges out of the way in time. And now we're pushing Greenfield through four. Get off his bumper as we're on the front stretch again. Another lap goes by. We're still 12, 13 laps into this. We have the 24 of Trash State, and we hit the apron again, and we're spinning! We're spinning, we hit the inside wall! And they call the caution. Oh no, that apron, that's the third time it's already claimed us, that's not good. We really can't afford anything else, otherwise we are doomed. And again, Dover is a really important track to me. We're gonna restart with 10 laps to do that. Should be plenty of time to try and make it. Will we be able to get that top 22 finish? Give a book to Peck and we're loose through the corner and try not touch that apron. We got really close to it. Then it goes up. We're going to try to go to the inside. And we're going to make the inside work. We get past a lot of cars there. And dodge back to the inside. We're through the corner a little bit. To check. Bump slider. Get past Shasta. And we get a little loose there. We're going to be good on the front stretch. Don't make much room. But right into one. We get past Snyder. Now we're pushing Greenfield. And now we're on the outside. Got a left. Throttle cannot hit that wall. That is crucial. And now on the outside, we're going to try and make room past Greenfield. We're going to hit Quap and push him. We're making good time on the outside. And now we're going to split the middle between Boyd and Quapple. Travis Quapple is now out of our way. We're pushing Chavis. Or Chauvis. One of them. And again, we get close to that apron. We can't touch that. Literally, if you touch the apron or you put one tire below it, when you're letting off the throttle or really doing anything through that turn. When you're on three by that snow coat logo on the grass, it can be disastrous. But the good news is we have made it past the 22nd position. And we're now sitting in 19th. But we are fighting with the 02. Tyler Young, I believe. We just got to get past him. We're going to try the outside. The outside's not going to work. We're in 20th. They've got a two-position buffer. Two-position buffer, as you know, is not enough if you're going to end up going through the same situation as I did in my Charlotte race. If you guys can't remember from my last episode, we raced at Charlotte. And at the very end there, he went through the grass, and we had a... I don't know, it was a big eight-position buffer. And... We lost a lot of time there, and we finished just a spot or two before. So it's important to have a buffer. We get past Quapple, but now we have to let off again because we're tight in the corner, and we hit! We're on the wall! We're spinning! The caution doesn't come out yet! We're hit! We're hit! We're hit again! And looks like we're good, and we're flipping now. Oh, what what's going on? I see Ross Trastain flipping, and what? I'm just confused. What went on there? We, we were slow. We were literally going 10 miles per hour. And then we get hit, and then we're flung in the air with Ross Chastain. That just looked... It just didn't look worldly. Well, we're restarting at 20th. We're on the outside, but it's not too much to worry about. What we do have to worry about is the damage, because if we remember from the Atlanta race, our very first race, our damage was the end of us. But it doesn't seem to be affecting us too badly here. Maybe the damage is more spread out in the car, but I'd assume flipping like that would really do something bad. You can just look at our hood, it's all messed up. We look like uh, Smith from last race, who is just by the way running beside us. And now we're gonna get to the inside of Young, we're making passes. Must be that grill that we put on the car. 
now we have Truex. If we pass him, we'll be in the top 15, and that'll be very good. As you guys may have noticed, we went to overtime. Not 29 out of 29. It's the final lap. Will we be able to beat Truex to the line and finish 15? We do. We finish 15. Oh wow, that was that was tough. I can tell you right now. Trying to race there, the truck wasn't tight, but my hands were. It was very nerve-wracking. I'm gonna try and find that crash, see just what went on there. Okay, here we are. Yes, you can see us, we slide up at the top of the track. We bump, we hit the wall, we're spinning, we're spinning. Okay, we get past, we get hit, we get hit a couple of times, send a lot of guys. You get hit by the 83 and then we're kind of in the air and Ross Chastain hits us and we do this weird bobble flip thing. What, what, I want to see that again. Okay, stop. We get missed by those two cars. We get hit by Spencer Boyd. Let's keep going. I think we get hit by either Spencer Boyd spins some people out or we hit other people. I'm not sure. I, it looks like the 68 down there. Greenfield's trying to avoid us. Do we do we hit the five? No, the five spinning. The slider avoid us. Let's see. I'm trying to find a good angle here. I think this is the best one. Okay, Snyder's gonna avoid us. And now what happens here? The 83 hits us and we get this little bit of air. You can see we're slanted and then Raj Chastain comes in. And he hits us. And let's see, let's find a good camera for this. We do this weird flip that, that just doesn't look right. And then we can see the 28 does a also decides to get a little bit of air there yeah that's just that's just strange well that will be it for today's episode of our nascar heat 2 courier i believe it's going to be about the same length as our charlotte race and we do get the top 22 finish another twelve thousand dollars in the bank twenty thousand total let's see matt snyder saying that it's intense and he wants us to keep our cool good luck and we somehow have 50 fans. Well, that'll be it for today's episode. Now, sweet. Check for an offer for next time. Texas Motor Speedway. Will we get the race? And we don't. But that's okay. See you guys next time. Bye.